Hello, collective. I thought I'd do this reading and record it since Awakened Man came out. In Awakened Man, they live from their heart space, okay? Their heart and their head is connected, okay? They honor their feminine and masculine energy. They're responsible for their own actions. They honor their feminine. They seek to understand their self and others. I appreciate people like that, don't you, all Collective? So, <coughs> that's what the reading's about. Well, let's see what the Awakened Man wants to say. So, what is this Awakened Man that lives from heart? Well, they, they want to tell you that they realize that, you know, they're a divine being like you. And they don't give a crap what all these people run and say about us. They know that people is going to hate us, hate you and hate them. And, you know, because we're, we're, we're awakened and we consciously communicate clearly to each other. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I, I'm thankful that. I have a mask one who is awakened. They've awakened with me, and I thank God for it. And they said, I've loved you since the first day I laid my eyes on you. Your beauty is mesmerizing, and I just love you. And peoples, they know that people has always hated you because you're beautiful. And that's sad. It, it's sad that the world works like that, but, but it is, and... And that's what this last one's wanting to talk to you about. They, they're wanting to tell you about that. And, uh, you know, you don't have to hurt people simply because you're hurting and mad at someone who's healed and happy. But see, these people love to hate you because you're healed and happy. And maybe because, you know, I have an awakened man. People's feeling this toward me. And I hope not because I try to help all the collective, you know. Um, and these people who... Um, a lot of these readers think that you can't be married and be in a, be a tarot reader. And I don't, I don't know who those people are and I don't really want them to watch me because I, I know a few of them that has those simple kind of beliefs and they're not the right way. You know, you can, you can be an awakened man and a woman and be married for years and it took you all a long time to awaken the spirit, you know? Especially if you've had a lot of death around you like we have. You know, me and my partner. So, yeah. So, um, they're noticing that other masculine and feminines are hating us. Or hating me and my old man because, you know, just because you're beautiful. And that's how they're doing to you all collective. But, you know, you're somebody that's grateful for what you have. You're grateful. And, and, and you're like... The only way you're going to thrive is when you start being grateful for what you have. And I'm grateful for the love of my family. I'm grateful to my family, you know. And you're not supposed to hurt people just because you're hurting. But, you know, the divine is getting ready to help me and you collective because a trine, a trine in your birth chart is trying to help you uh, in all aspects in your life at the moment. And if you look and see you have trines in your birth chart this is where your creativity and your expressive talents lie and they're they're these connecting planets in a trine are trying to reinforce each other to help you do things with ease so you'll be a success so look at those trines look at the trines maybe this awakened man is thankful that you spoke to them about these trines and they did studying in their birth chart and and now they know now they know Oh, look. Oh, it's Awakened Man. They're wanting to bring balance to your life. Or maybe they love a Libra, a Libra, you know. But this is about partnership. So I done said, you know, me and my partner. But, you know, this represents love, peace, and harmony. You're very romantic. And you see the beauty in all things. And people may hate you for that. But, you know, it's their loss. Yeah. It's a woman that's praying for your downfall. Only because you believe in a different religion or because you're spiritual. She actually hates you. This could be someone in the spiritual community. And what she didn't realize is um, just you, you don't supposed to hate people because of things like that. So what's going to happen is 
karmic justice is getting served. That's why that Libra came out. So, so karma's hitting this person that doesn't believe in the same things that we believe in collective. But, you know, this person that's loved you since the first day and they know that people gets mad at you because you're healed and happy. This person is in love with you. They're wishing that you will give them a chance to show you and prove to you collective that they are the person of your dreams. This person really loves you. Uh, they love the way you uh, talk about moon signs and all that. They, they love you. They love the way you teach. They love you so much. Oh, uh, and your ancestors are catching those nightmares for you when you sleep. So, you know, you and your family, your ancestors are protecting you. You know, and I am with my person. And your ancestors are protecting you and helping you to become a success. Because, look, because you're all have a high clear volume journey. That's why you're all going to be successful, both of you all. I love you, spirit. I claim this reading for me, too. I'm going to put it out to the collective because a lot of people resonates with with the way it comes out with my cards. And I, and I appreciate you all. And y'all need to help get this reading around. Okay? Because somebody else out here has a high vibe twin flame journey also. And look, they've loved you to the moon and back. You know, it said it twice. It says, I love you to the moon and back. See? They love you. They've always loved you. I love this man. Don't you, collective? Oh, and this woman, she's going around telling people that your person might be uh, buying prostitutes off the streets. <laughs> but, you know, that. But you know that they're not, you know. I know my partner ain't doing that. So, if y'all think I said that about mine, I didn't. I just do readings for the collective. So, y'all got to know that. <laughs> that. A lot of this energy is your all's energy that I'm pulling out on. And some of it's good and some of it's bad. But... What else under is? All this bull crap is going to be slingshotted right back to anyone that comes off as a jerk to a true born star who has only ever tried to be of help and shows love to all that you come across. This I made this card. See, I made this card. See, I'm a true star and and I know that this bull crap about this succubus and incubus, that spirit that they try to attach, they try to uh they try to get your person to screw around on you and throw you and him off balance. But you know what? They hate they hate me and you collective because it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work, you know. And we're grateful for our family. And we know that our uh, ancestors catch our dreams. And, you know, we have your person that gets your guidance from spirits. This sends back to your lineage of, in lineage of Indians, see? You're grateful for your Indian lineage. What's inside of you? Uh, this is these trines are helping your high vibe twin flame journey. Shouting out to you from the divine universe. Can we have twin flame card? That'd be wonderful, wouldn't it? Huh? <laughs> oh, what do you want to say? It says you're going to be blessed. You're getting ready to be blessed. You and your twin is because y'all stood in your truths. You stood in your truths. And you start being grateful for each and everything that you have in your life. You love your family. You help your family. You're stable. This is for a stable. This is for a stable person, okay? So be thankful of everything that you have, collective. Hang on. I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to pull out some different cards that ain't mine. And I'm going to leave this little reading of mine the way it pulled out right there. Yep, see, they're, this person, they're mad. They're wanting to, uh, they're mad because you spoke on all the shit that they've done and they've said in their lives. These people, you might not even know these people, but they're wanting to jump you out in town because they're childish. They're childish, and all they do is peek, they peek into your life every day. So use this rose quartz because that person, they never, they've never learned their lessons. They've never learned their lessons. But you, but you and your real man, you and your real man holds the keys to the whole territory. You've got spiritual knowledge, you know, and you know how to move on from people, places, and things because you're an intuitive empath, and and you might have Egyptian lineage, and you're smart and wise with your money. 
Oh, and Spirit appreciates you just like I do. Did you hear that? Oh, I love that. Don't you all collective? Hang on. Now, let me see if uh, we can see. What else do we need to know about? And if these black cards come out upside down, I'll turn them back around because they're all upside down. Oh, in the distant horizon. Something, this this balance is going to come. Um, you might have to go to court with this person that's been, she might be attached to your equipment and do something to your equipment every day. But in the distant horizon, this mature man, y'all might be flying together since that's something flying up in the air, you know it. What about in the distant horizon with this mature man? What about this high vibe twin flame journey and blessed and the ancestors bless you and oh uh, and then we got fourth the fourth house and it belongs to cancer and this is about as you did in the past your home base or your family do what makes you feel secure. You know you're doing what makes you 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 have support you know and. You do, you love what you do. It makes you feel secure. You you, you are secure. You know it. Um, this masculine doesn't do things that they've done in the past. They've learned their lessons. You know what I mean? And um, toil and labor. You, you might have had to toil and labor a lot in your life, you know, and it might be this mature man has realized you've helped him to realize that he's going to start doing something that makes him feel happy. And he might be switching his job because he might have a hard job like that, you know. And he might be trying to, uh, he's getting ready to, um, he's receiving the gift. Oh, he's got a calling. He's got a calling. See, he's going to have to, uh, uh, he, he's getting ready to, um, be in his calling of creativity. It landed on gift, you know. Uh, he knows that you have an advantage. I love that, don't you, spirit? What is this mature man's sign? What is this mature man's planet or sign or something? Oh, he wants... You're, he's going to show you that you're of high honor. Do you understand that? You're a high honor. You and your person are a very high honor in this community. And people's going to realize, don't you worry. Oh, and twins, the Gemini twins come out. This is uh, this mature man. This is about your beliefs and using the quickest way information. This this mature man, this is about communication. Um this is about, you're getting ready to receive some communication. It's about high honors, your family, maybe. Oh, it's about courtship, you know. This is about, you all need to get back out and court each other, you know. it. This is about, you're going to be high honors if you explain about this courtship. Something about toil and labor. What about toil and labor? Oh, and third house, Gemini came out again toil and labor. You know, this is about your ideas. This is about your ideas, who or what is around you. It's about short-term thinking and trips. Um, oh, and it said, oh, and see this, this, you're high honor and this person that's against you, that's, a, that's a false person. That's a false person. Uh, who is the false person's sign? Venus, so it might be a Taurus or or a, or a Libra energy. Um, you know, that's about attraction and pleasure. I just think it's saying this false person. They're they're all about pleasure and good times and and cherishing the moment. You know, flames, devil. Do you understand? <laughs> uh, I believe what it's saying is you're gonna you, you're receiving all your spiritual gifts because. You started uh, communicating about how uh, you are with somebody that you love and you appreciate. And whoever this one person is, they thought that you wanted to be in a courtship, but you're you're not. You made the right you made the right the right connection. You made the right choice to stay with this mature man because 
but whoever that one person is, this false person, they're all about looks, just about attraction, okay? They're just attracted to this mature woman. Whoever this false person is, she just can, she just attracted to this uh, mature woman and and your success. That's all it is. She she might be stealing your your communication. She might be going around taking your gift. You know, my gift is my cards that I write about, like these high vibe twin flame journeys and shit. I'm actually in one. So whoever this woman is, um, she's she's been trying to make make you out to be a false person, but you're a divine feminine. You're a divine feminine, and she is a false person. This isn't the same woman. This woman is jealous of this mature woman and this mature man, this divine feminine and this divine masculine that's in a high vibe twin flame journey. Yeah, and I wrote these cards. This is me and my masculine. See, this is me and my masculine. I stand on my truth. <laughs> I stand on my truth, you know, and uh, you're getting ready to um, become a person of power and status, you and your divine masculine. And this false person that went around lying on you, she doesn't have to be in the spiritual community. This can be a religious person that lives around you. She's got a succubus demon or a succubus spirit attached to her. And um, you, you helped this uh, false person to realize this mature woman. You know, and I'm a mature woman. I'm in my 40s. <laughs> you know, but uh, you started talking to people about how you thought you... You know, the grass ain't always greeter on the other side. And sometimes you'll feel like that sometimes when you're going through menopause, you know. And you got to come back down to reality, you know. And maybe that's what you're, that's what people's looking up to you for. Because you did do that, okay. Um... What else do we need to know, Spirit? You inspire others through your work. Oh, thank you. You're receiving inspiration to to create. You're inspiring others. You are going to be a person of power and status. It don't said it. You could be inspiring a, a, an Aries at the moment, but it doesn't have to be. That's just about your power. This is about your freedom. You and your uh, awakened man or awakened woman, you all feel free together. You... You, you all know how to communicate the correct way. And, you know, there's a lot of people in this world don't know how to do that. You all know how to transform. You know how to transform and uh, transmute all that energy. You transformed. Yeah. You're going to have power when you transform. Oh, but, but don't let uh, this other person consume all your thoughts. You and, and I didn't. And that's what they was trying to do. They was trying to pick your skull clean. <laughs> this person that's inspired by you is picking your brain clean and going back to her platform and putting it out as hers. And I done told you. Because she's a trick. She's a false trick. She's a trick. And she needs to st quit looking over here. The little tricky dicky. But she just wants to play with this mature woman. She wants to play and go and trick this mature woman, but mature woman's smart and she's like, no, 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 no. You can't play with somebody that has all this lying segment energy in them. You can't play with it with me. And look, I don't have no fear. Look, you're like a damn lion shark. You got lion and shark energy in you, and you know that you got the courage to stand up to always. <clears throat> All these uh, shark vultures that try to trick you. You know who they are. You know who exactly they are. Because you know the great mysteries of life. Look there at Bosset Energy, the cats. You know, you, they just thought it would be fun to play with you. Because you're a mystery. Because your beliefs, I believe, I believe, I believe their beliefs are different. See, that's how it is, collective. Okay? So, I don't know what you want to do with that person, but... Let me give you a little, <clears throat> can we have a little love message for my collective, what, what the romance angels want to say? Let your friends help you ask for and accept, ex accept, accept support from others. So, uh, somebody's friends is wanting to help you out here. 
uh, somebody's friend might have romantic feelings for you. Your feelings are real and worth exploring with this person collective. Whoever you have your feelings for. There's power in your eyes. Feelings and connection. Trust. 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 This situation is calling you to have faith. Trust. Trust that this man has awakened and they're, they've transformed. Now they're wanting to flirt with you. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So, you know, this person is wanting you to flirt and play around with them. They miss you, collective. They love you so big. They just want to tell you, but you ain't been around them, I guess. But they're wanting to figure, they're wanting to tell you something, but you've just not been around them, evidently. Hang on, let me give you some angel, my angels. My angels and my angel numbers and see what it says. Spirits. Oh, your angels gave you a gift to raise people's vibrations. So it helps to raise the universe's vibrations for the good of all humanity. See, uh, you're helping you're you're helping others to raise the planet's vibes because you're all about humanity. And your angels gave you a gift to speak publicly. You are needed in the world to speak your knowledge to this younger generation, especially these days. See, people want to, they they want to tell you they love you so much, but it's also saying somebody is want they, they appreciate all your knowledge. They got romantic feelings. They feel power with you. This ain't even supposed to be in there. You are highly protected by the divine. That ain't even supposed to be in there. So that or to tell you right there or something, huh? <laughs> That ought to tell you something, Collective, because no, no, it ain't supposed to be in there. I wonder how many more I got in there. I see another one in there. Hang on, Collective. Let me get it out. I don't know where it went now. Alright, I need to put these over here in this... In my other deck. Sorry, Collective. I'm going to keep adding up there for you all because <laughs> I'm not taking that angel away. Look at that. You're protected by that angel. It has eyeballs all over all of its wings. It loves you. It, it follows you. You have nothing to worry about. You or your man or woman. Your angels gave you a gift to understand others and to see when people are doing you wrong behind your back. And if they talk about you, you just know it. People be like, how does he or she do that? How do they know things like that? Because spirit shows us how to do things. See? Because spirit shows us. Does anybody believe me? I know that people's believing me, and I'm thankful. <clears throat> and your angels gave you a gift to see if people are cursing you at the moment. You'll sense these things, and spirit will bring about pain in their lives for cursing your life. Ah. So... We know that somebody was doing magic on us. It was this false person that's talking about succubus and incubuses on the street. It's that person. There, uh, that was maybe saying that your partner did that or something. And your angels gave you a gift of learning life lessons. Once you've realized past choices and actions that you had done before, you wise up and you don't ever go back and do it again. See? You're not stuck. No, yes, maybe, should I, mother, da ba da ba da ba. See, you, you learn your lessons, and I love you for it. And your spirit guides love you for it. <clears throat> 2020 come out, and this energizes you to take action right away. Trust your senses. Use your gifts. You got a solid connection. It's going to bring stability, and you have huge potential. You got to remove these mental blocks and unleash any new possibilities. You got to trust and keep the faith. Trust and keep the faith. Trust and keep the faith. 2020. Trust, 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 trust. Trust you got a lot of knowledge. And trust that your angels gave the gift of testimony. If you've been called to speak your testimony to others, then this gift was given to you through the whispering of Holy Spirit. And it's leading you to speak your truths. Holy Bible. So maybe you spoke your truths about things about the Bible from the Bible. And, you know, you're helping raise the planet's vibes and keep the faith. Keep the faith, keep the faith. Lord, we gotta keep the faith. Remember Bon Jovi? <laughs> keep the faith, keep the faith. Oh, we gotta keep the faith. 
and keep the faith that when you see 38 or 83, you know, that's 11. So 11, 11, your twin flame loves you. You're getting a encouragement and assistance. New collaborations and partnerships are coming for you. For twin flames, you're meant to be together. In love, your relationship is growing. You and your partner will flourish together. Your energy and vibrations match, and you all use your intuition. I love that. That spirit, that's me. See, we encourage others. We, I'm encouraging you all. You might order to read the Bible a little bit, a little bit more if you're younger and get some more knowledge. You know, and I'm, I'm being true about that before you step into a spiritual path. Trust me. And there's nothing wrong with me telling you all that. And 888, and that's a su success and financial good luck is coming. Have faith in the plan of this universe. This is about achievement, success, striving forward. This is powerful and significant spiritual influence potential. This is about your pure karma. Balance and fairness is going to be restored over, uh, what's that say? This is an omen of hope, love, and spiritual enlightenment, 888. So, you know, know that your twin flame is around you. That's why 11 come out, 1111, 11, all right? You're highly protected by the divine. You and your awakened man, you're very balanced. And whoever this false person is, man or woman that's trying to sneak around and pick in your brain, you're not letting them, so you're not worried about it. You're helping all humanity, and you know that you understand that there's people doing wrong behind your back, and they talking about you, and you and you know that you know they are. They're 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 making fun about my knowledge that I'm speaking, but spirit's going to bring about pain in these people's lives for cursing your life. They're getting ready to receive karma. That's why I made that no yes maybe circle wheel right here. That's why I made that. They're receiving their karma. Their pain is coming into their life. Keep the faith that it's happening at the moment. You're receiving assistance from the divine. You are a person of spiritual influence. You, and you do strive to keep moving forward. And you keep continuing to do it. And hey, and I love you. And I appreciate you, each and every one of you all. And just keep the faith. And don't let nobody break your faith collective. Do not let nobody break your faith collective. All right. And I hope y'all... Uh, if you're new and you watch it all the way through, I hope that you'll hit subscribe because I try to help all of us. And I love you all. And I'm trying to give a deck away at 500. So if you're new and you watch it all the way through, please hit subscribe so I can give this deck away uh, to my collective because they've been waiting on it. And I told them I had to get to 500, okay? Well, first I said 1,000. I lowered it to 500 people. All right, but you're helping me, and I appreciate you. And to my uh, loyal support, just hit like, and you can leave me a comment. You know, uh, the more comments you leave, the more I get around a spiritual community. And if you're for me, you'll do that. And if you're not for me, then I'll know. I know who the bullshitters is and who the real ones are, but I love you guys. And uh, I sense your all's energy, okay? I know who the good ones are. Peace.